My name is Linda Robson, National Treasure, and welcome to my exclusive shoot with the OK Magazine. I'm here today for OK Magazine, and I've had um, some lovely ladies dressing me, and a lovely lady called Pauline doing my makeup as well. So I'm very pleased with what they've got me wearing. When I first saw it, I thought it was a bit more like Helen Mirren than Linda Robson, but they've actually done a really good job, and I feel really, really posh, and I love my clothes. So over the years, I've been asked many times to write my autobiography and I've always said no, because I didn't feel like I had much to talk about. But now at 65, and I've been in the business for 56 years, um, I was 10 when I started, I felt like there must be enough stories in there to pad out a book. Um, I've had mixed feelings, really. Uh, it's took a long time to do because my family took quite a lot of it out. In fact, I think there was only going to be three chapters left at one time. But um, I've filled it with funny stories and things that have happened to me over the years. Um, I feel a little bit nervous because I've got to do a book signing. I know in Islington I'll be fine because half my family live in Islington, my grandchildren and everyone. But then when I have to go to Liverpool, I'm just going to make sure that I've got two friends there. I'll get them to bring all their families with them as well. So then I'll be happy. So there's a few chapters in the book that I'm really proud of because um, I had a lot of mental health problems probably about four years ago. Um, but I've been really honest in the book and spoke about it. At one time I was actually on suicide watch um, because I felt so bad at what I was putting my family through. But um, I just want everyone to know that it can happen to anyone. If you had told me it would happen to me, I would never have believed it. How does it feel to be 65? It sort of feels the same as it did when I was 50, apart from parts of my body ain't working as well as they were before. I um, had an accident on an electric scooter on my knee um, quite a few months ago. So I'm just waiting for a knee replacement. Um, but apart from that, I'm in good health and I'm in good spirits and, uh, and looking forward to what people think about the book. Um, but I'd like to do some more acting. I've done two films this year. I've done one called Some Otherhood. Um, I went to the premiere of it and I got a round of applause when I came on screen, so that was nice. And I've also done one called Bermondsey Towels. In it, I play Gary Webster's um, wife, so a gangster's wife, and that's out later this year. So more acting, really. A loose Woman is 25 years old this year, um, and I've been a Loose Woman for 20 years, so, and we've obviously got new panellists now, which I think has been great, like Olivia, Frankie, um, and it's, it's really nice. So it's a real mixed age group there. So you've got Gloria, who's probably the oldest, Janet's the second oldest, and then we've got the younger ones now, Olivia and Frankie joining. So that's been really, really nice. And we all get on really, really well. And it's always the first question Dennis asked, um, how do you all get on? Well, we get on really, really well. Just because we're women don't mean we argue all the time. I'm always in trouble on Loose Women, always in trouble. So there was Brenda, Sinetra, Kelly Bryan, and who else was there? One other person, Brenda, oh, Charlene. It was Charlene's first anchoring job. So I wheeled a million pound into the studio. So I said, today, so today's your last chance to win a million pound, all in one go, or you can win 10,000 pound a month for the next four years. And then when I can't see it, can I? Beep, beep, there. And I looked at the list women and went, I thought it was a rehearsal. I thought I'd lost my job, but luckily I never, and I'm still there by the skin of my teeth, actually. <laughs> you know, when people say all the time, family are the most important thing. Well, family are the most important thing for probably all of us, really. Um, I'm very lucky to have three healthy children, although they're not children anymore. My oldest daughter is now 40. My son's 32 and my youngest daughter is 27. But the loves of my life are my two granddaughters, Lila and Betsy. And then the next love of my life is my dog, Dolly. It was a rescue from Battersea. Um, but yeah, no, it's all about family, really. And my mum was very family orientated. And when she passed away, she left a really lovely letter saying to me and my two sisters, never fall out, always be there for each other. And, that, and we are always there for each other. So my personal plans are to have as many holidays as I can. I think last year I probably had about five or six. Um, and this year I'm hoping to have even more. I love Mallorca, um, so I'm hoping to go to Mallorca again. Even just, sometimes I just go away for four or five days just to get away from the madhouse. If you're listening to this, thank you very much for listening to it. I'm going to go now. I'm going to take me a lovely clothes out that OK gave me today. Put my own stuff on and... Uh, Hopefully you enjoy reading my book. 
or just buy OK Magazine, have a look and see what I look like. I look bloody gorgeous in there.